Hello, my name is Katie. Welcome to another video. Today I am bringing you guys a, another book haul. So originally this file did corrupt, so I'm actually refilming this. So it's frustrating. I had to dig the books out again, but it's fine. We're just going to work with it. So the first few books I'm going to share with you, my good friend Laura was selling on her eBay. And the first of which is a finished copy of With Fire and the Blood by Cut to the Court. I have already read this. I read the arc of this. So it's really, really nice to have a finished copy now. And hopefully one day when I do meet Cat again, I can get this one signed. It'd be really, really nice too. But if you guys don't know about this book, it's basically kind of like Romeo and Juliet, but like in Italy and there's like magic involved and like bisexual characters. Yeah, it's great. It's really, really great. And there's literally so many kind of like amazing characters in this that I don't even know who I ship and who I really like. Like literally out of all the characters, I have no idea who I like. I have done a review on this, so I'll link the review down below if you like to check more of my review out. Um, but yeah, just really happy that I've got a finished copy of this now. Next of all, I've got The Very Secret Society of Regular Witches by Sangu Mandana. Very, very popular on booktube at the moment. I don't really have much of a clue about it, I just know the witches are inside it. And all it says here on the back is a witch wanted, living tutor wanted for three young witches, must have nerves of steel, previous teaching experience not necessary, witchiness essential. But I've just had amazing things, especially from my good friend Kaylee, who I really highly trust. And yeah, I'm super excited to have this now, a lovely hardcover edition. So yes, I can't wait to dive into this book. Lovely and purple underneath. Cute little dog on the inside there too. That's really, really great. And yeah, like a car just there. Yeah, I'm really, I'm just really, really happy to give this a try. So yeah, I'm really excited that I've got that one. And then the other one that I've got is Fireborn. 12 and the frozen forest by Aileen Fowler this has just been released on paperback I believe I saw it in Waterstones and paperback Namig! so it's a middle grey book I love the cover to this but it's hardcover as well so I'm really happy to have the hardcover of this and yeah for a great price too super super happy with this map of the inside which is great Namig! orange inside and really really beautiful like end papers just there like like an, I don't know, it feels, it's like a, I don't know if it's meant to be like a fire, but it's kind of like wispy. So yeah. So I'm really happy to um, see about this one. It says, meet 12, the pledge changed her name, she will change the world. So I feel like it's going to be a great middle grade adventure book. Next all I have here, The Dead Romantics by Ashley Poston. This was £3 on Amazon. So how could I? not to get it. So I really like the sound of it. It says here Florence Day is a ghost writer with a big problem. They are supposed to be penny swoon-worthy novels for a famous romance author but after a bad breakup they no longer believe in love. Her strict and hot new editor Benji refuses to give her an extension on her book deadline and they prefer prepare to kiss their career goodbye. Tragedy strikes, Florence has to head home. The last thing she expects to see is the ghost at her front door of her <laughs> new editor. As sparks start to fly between them, Florence tells herself she can't be falling for a ghost, even an infuriatingly sexy one. But can Bendy help Florence to realize that love isn't dead after all? I don't know why, but it, it's kind of got a little mini feel to the mediator series because of obviously the ghost working with the main character situation so that's why i kind of like this and yeah i look forward to giving it a read um ash uh, ali hazelwood from the love hypothesis has said on the front here that they have loved this book they found it funny breathtakingly and hopeful so yeah i have massive high hopes for this one 
Then I went into Waterstones and I picked up The First to Die at the End by Adam Silvera. This is the prequel to They Both Die at the End, which I have read. It broke me. So, yes, I really, really love the edges of this one. I think this is kind of like, I don't know whether it's a Waterstones exclusive, but it's just got that really, really pretty bit. And there's like an image there you can just about see there, which is really cool. And yeah, I just really love this like orange this but yeah the chapters look really short in this but yeah literally is just a prequel orion and valentino one of them will be the first to die at the end so i think this is like the first time that death cast is like created so this is just like how it all began so yeah i'm really excited to get around to reading that and i look forward to that one and then also from Waterstones, it was half price. I picked up Spacebound by Tom Fletcher. This is his brand new book, Middle Grade. And it contains music from McFly. I have ordered the CD. I'm really hoping to get it soon. I can't wait because they have made music for this. And McFly is my favourite band. So yeah. Also guys, can we really appreciate the inside of this? Look at those really awesome aliens just there and then like round on the back it's really cool and it's lovely and shiny like on this and then we've got a doodle on there which is great too so so good it's so so good super fans mcfly have recorded their own versions of the earthland songs as you read the story look out for this symbol and it tells you that the song is available online scan the qr code and listen so is that not like really cool that you can listen to the songs along with reading and it's got a great character section here of the actual ban contents of chapters which is also great too and yeah like i just love it so so much and if you guys don't know tom fletcher he is the husband of giovanna fletcher who is um she she does sing i think she plays um violin um and yeah they have like sung songs together but she is also a writer too she writes like chiclet novels so yeah and she was also in the jungle of um i'm a celebrity get me out of here and i believe she won so yeah she was like the queen of the jungle one year and yeah tom fletcher he's in the band of mcfly so yeah this is his new and latest book half price it was for that week i'm not sure if it is still half price there but i know that it is half price in like supermarkets so in the uk you can get these from supermarkets it sounds really really cool like really really interesting so it says here we left our solar system behind a rocket into deep space everything went black out of the darkness came a teeny dot of yellowish light we're getting closer i said and we soared across the universe to somewhere that no band from earth had ever been at before look at this like monster bit at the back like is that not like really, really cool there so so cool so i'm looking forward to that and then i went into sainsbury's and there they had tom felton's new and latest book which is beyond the wand so they had that there for a really good price even cheaper than amazon's price because they always compare to amazon too there are pictures in this as well right here like in the actual book um but yes of course it's tom felton's like autobiography the magic and mayhem of growing up a wizard and if you guys don't know tom felton played malfoy he played Malfoy, Draco Malfoy. So yeah, really, really excited to give this one a read. And then finally, from the Sainsbury's, I got Alice Oseman's The Heartstopper Yearbook. In all of its beautiful glory, right here, I just had to get my hands on it. And yes, of course, has all sorts of things on the inside. Great stuff. So it will have a new Tara and Darcy mini co comic, character profiles and trivia, how to draw Nick and Charlie, insights into Alice's creative process, the art of Heartstopper, a year of Heartstopper moments. So yes, I'm really, really happy that I've got this to add to my collection. Hopefully one day I can get Alice Oseman to sign it. Hopefully there'll be many, many hours that she'll be at or events that she'll be at where she can sign it. So I'm really happy to have this now. It's beautiful. I'm happy. 
and it just feels so beautiful and yes can't wait to give it a read and dive into this this will be a nice quick read as well but definitely one that i would love and enjoy and also i will probably attempt to draw some of the stuff in here maybe i'll do a video about it so that all of you can laugh at me but who knows i have one more book to share with you for this month as it pretty much came and i didn't know whether i was going to expect to get it because i would imagine it'd be extremely popular so i was really surprised that they get it and that is greenings i know she's to men so the lovely lovely people at walker books sent this to me this doesn't come out until the 10th of november i'm entirely grateful to get this i am reading through this series so yeah it will be great to get to it to read and review for everybody and yeah i'm super super excited so it says here that it is pretty much kind of like tales from the siphon um it's the centuries have passed between the thunderhead and creating humanity and scythe god are trying to turn it upside down so it says collaborations from david june jared schusterman sophia la puente michael h payne michelle nolden and joelle schusterman return to the world throughout the timeline of the arc of a Scythe series in a short story collection, discover secrets and histories of characters that you follow for three volumes, meet new heroes, new foes, some figures in between. It shows how expansive, terrifying, and thrilling the world that began with the Prince Honor winning Scythe truly is. So yeah. For years, humans lived in a perfect world controlled by science. Just imagine the stories that we don't know. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 yeah 13 stories and there's over 400 pages of this i feel like it'd be really interesting i feel like it'd be really insightful to the series i'm really really happy that i have this now so massive massive thank you again to walker books for sending this to me i truly and honestly appreciate it and i completely look forward to giving it a read for you guys but yes really excited about all those books super super excited there were definitely books that are on my wish list as well and yeah i can't wait to read them and see what i think about them so i hope you guys have enjoyed this book haul video if you have don't forget to give it a thumbs up all of my social media links are linked down below in the description if you would like to follow me elsewhere twitter instagram goodreads tiktok book clubs gaming channels you name it it's all down below but that's it for me guys thank you so so much for watching keep smiling keep reading and be happy my name is katie and i'll see all of you wonderful awesome people in my next video Bye.